Lieutenant Governor Kiran Bedi has rejected the state cabinet's recommendation to extend the tenure of seven MLAs as chairpersons of various government corporations. Now, this is definitely set to aggravate the tussle between the Congress-led government and the Lieutenant Governor's office in Puducherry. R. Siva is one of the seven MLAs in Puducherry who has lost the chairmanship of corporations they headed. He was the chairman of Pondicherry Industrial Promotion and Investment Corporation. After one year in office, the Lieutenant Governor Kiran Bedi has refused to extend their tenure. The reason? They failed to submit the mandatory mid-term or annual appraisal she put in place. Puducherry is the first time Chief Minister Narayan Swami recommended extension. She says nothing doing. Government secretaries would now be in charge of these bodies. We asked the secretariat, send us the appraisals. Instead of that, we just got blanket recommendation. Please continue. This is only the latest in a series of run-ins the Lieutenant Governor has had with the Congress government. Recently, the Puducherry Assembly wanted the Lieutenant Governor's powers be curtailed after she defied the Speaker's order. A few weeks ago, she alleged irregularities in postgraduate medical admission and ordered a CBI probe. She also administered oath of office as nominated MLAs to two BJP office bearers and an RSS member after the Home Ministry nominated them. Call it high-handedness or unwillingness by MLAs to be accountable. Governor Kiran Bailey's headline-grabbing action will now come under scrutiny than ever before. Does she really make systems work the right way or lead to confusion, as politicians claim? With Swami in Puducherry, in Chennai, Sam Daniel, Findy TV.